After this video, your cheap mic will sound like a professional one, even if you're only using your phone. I will also give you one bonus tip in the end of the video, so keep watching. And if you want to know what microphone I am using, it is the Zingyu BM800. It is a condenser mic and does a pretty good job. You can find similar ones for just $20. I am pairing it with the M-Audio M-Track Solo. The interface costs around $40, which is pretty cheap as well. Since the mic needs an XLR cable, I need an audio interface that converts it to USB for my computer input. But if you don't have the budget, just use your phone as a mic. And before I'm opening up DaVinci Resolve, I want to clarify that I'm no audio engineer. Everything I'm showing you is self-taught. My audio quality speaks for itself, so take what you want from it. The first thing we do after adding our voiceover is to go to the Fairlight page and into the project settings in the bottom right corner. Then on the Fairlight we go where it says target loudness level. Here we enter minus 14 since YouTube recommends a loudness level of minus 14 loves. We hit save and mark a sequence of our audio and click on this loop icon so the playback will loop infinitely. Now on the left side there is a bus 1 channel, here we have our loudness history which is just like the histograms in color grading. I always use the momentary history so I know exactly the loudness of all of my sounds combined in real time. Since we have set the loudness level to minus 14 loves, the thick line beside the zero is where we want our overall audio to live. Now I select all of my clips and normalize the audio levels. I use sample peak program and set it to minus 2 decibels. Now you can see it only made it a bit louder but we'll make it louder in a second. We organize things by naming them and now the fun part starts. On the right side search for your voice channel. I set my track order to EQ, dynamics and effects. So the equalizer has priority then the dynamics and then all the other effects. We double click on the dynamics and activate the compressor inside of it. The compressor allows us to reduce the dynamic range so it compresses everything into one target volume. Quiet sounds get louder and the other way around. The threshold is telling us when the compressing should kick in. And with the ratio we can reduce our audio by pulling the slider to the left. Meaning the volume will be reduced a lot. And a higher ratio to the right will only reduce it a little. Now the makeup is important because here I will bring up the overall volume and try to get close to the zero line. Watch the loudness level go up as I increase the makeup. Now I enable the limiter just to be sure that my audio will not go over a certain level, so basically limiting my loudness. I'm tapping once on the dynamics to disable and then enable it to hear a difference. Professional one, even if you're only using your phone. After this video, your cheap mic will sound like a professional one. Now onto the equalizer, which will transform our audio quality. First I activate the band 1 and set the frequency to around 80 because the human voice does not live in these frequencies. The same with band 6, I'm cutting off the highest frequencies. Our voice lives around here. Now we change the band 2 icon to this shape, let the audio play again and enhance the lows to give our voice a bit more impact and bass. Yo, your cheap mic will sound like a professional one even if you're only using your phone. With band 3 we are cleaning up some unwanted frequencies. You can scroll wheel up and down to tighten up the range. Search for some ugly sounds, especially in the 250 range. Sound like a professional one, even if you're only using your phone. After this video, your cheap mic will sound Now pull it down a bit, just like that. We do the same with band 4, and since our voice is lacking a bit of clarity, we are adding it with band 5. Your cheap mic will sound like a professional one, even if you're only using The next step is not necessary, but I like to add a multiband compressor to my voiceovers. I turn off band 1 and 4 and only boost and compress the frequencies where my lower voice sits. Now we will apply a de which will help us getting rid of those nasty high frequencies in our S. Enable listen to S only and search for where yours are sitting. Every mic and voice is different so this applies not only for this effect. Now we revert it and play with the amount. Now this is how everything sounds with and without changes. A big difference. After this video, your cheap mic will sound like a professional one, even if you're only using your phone. And now for the bonus tip, add a sound or beat to your timeline, label it for organization and search for it in your channel mixer. Now add dynamics to it and enable the compressor, just like we did earlier. Lower the threshold and click on listen, the source is your voice and click on. 
Now the music we just added will listen to your voice, means that whenever your voice is active, the volume of the music will be reduced. So your voice has more room and you don't have to manually key the volume to match with your voiceovers. The attack is when it should kick in, but I always leave it here. The hold is how long the compression should last and the release is how fast or slow the music should be released back into its original loudness level. After this video, your cheap mic will sound like a professional one, even if you're only using your phone. And now for the very last time, here's a before and after. After this video, your cheap mic will sound like a professional one, even if you're only using your phone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Check out my store if you want to spice up your content. And don't worry, I'll always release free stuff for those who can't afford it. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.